Our list of what's important in life has two winners. One winner is family and friends. To each of you, your presence here today is very important and meaningful to all of us. There's no greater gift than to have family and friends share this wonderful day. We're proud parents of a great daughter. We think Emily has grown up to be a very beautiful young woman, especially today. Brad really has some admiring uh, personality traits. You know, he's caring, he's patient, he's loyal, optimistic, uh, intelligent, competitive, persevering. He's more patient now than I've ever seen him in his entire life. It's hard to imagine two people more compatible on day one of their marriage as they face the future together. The day that dream became reality, we could not be happier. We are gathered here this afternoon in God's presence to join Brad and Emily in holy matrimony. Emily, will you have Brad to be your husband? Brad, will you have Emily to be your wife? I will. Let it be known in the eyes of God and the city of man that Brad and Emily are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. You may kiss your bride. Charles Dickens once wrote that a measure of a woman's love for her man is the lengths at which she is prepared to go to make him happy. That statement was made a long time ago, so it should go both ways. But I want to tell you, Emily, from what I've seen, I believe you have accomplished that task. Brad is the happiest I've ever seen him. There's another important event occurring today. Today is Brad's birthday.